Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel and today I'm here with another tutorial video it is a much requested tutorial on how to mod rugby union team manager 3 so basically how to get all of the right team names players kits player photos badges etc I know lots of people have requested this on my channel as well as on the Rugby Union Team Manager 3 Discord. So hopefully this helps a lot of people out as people do seem to have issues with this. So before we get into the video, please do drop a like if this does help you and you enjoy the content. Leave a comment down below, I get back to absolutely all of them. Of course if you're stuck and you need some help, please do drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. And of course, if you haven't already, move that subscribe button. So the first thing we need to do really is to introduce you to the Discord server for Rugby Union Team Manager 3. As you can see here we are in, you've got all of the different chats on the left hand side. Depending on which version of the game you have got, if you've got the original, you'll be looking for database sharing. If you've got the DLC version, you'll be looking for DLC database sharing. Um, so basically it's just looking through the chat for the links that you need. Um, so for example, here is a database from Stephen James. There's also links there for club badges, player photos, things like that. But just a little search up and down this discussion you'll find lots of different things for example there's another database there with some more up-to-date transfers um, if you go down there is actually a helpful modding guide which we will be going through here to show you how to do the different things but yeah these will be where you find the links these google drive links things like that to get everything you need for the game I'll drop a link to the Discord in the description so that you can join and follow along and just generally it is a very good rugby community with lots of good chat going on so I do recommend getting involved. But once you follow the links you will download several things. So if I go over to my download folders here you will download the clubs DLC, the competitions DLC, the photos and then also your database. So it'll be four files that you are looking for. Of course, these three are all zipped, so you need to have some zipping software to uh, extract these. I use FreeArc, so I just right click, head to FreeArc, and click Extract here. So we'll start with the database, which is this one here. It's always a .dat file and where you will need to put it will be if you come over to your documents alternative software rugby union team manager 3 and in here is a list of the databases so if I go back to downloads you literally either right click in copy or drag it whatever you prefer to do and pop it in here as you can see I've got quite a few different ones to choose from but as far as the database goes it's as simple as that one thing you do need to remember is once we get into the game here and you head to new game your databases are in the top right corner here so you've got lots of different ones to choose from if you've only imported the one database you should only have one option there but before you start a new game you need to make sure you have selected the correct database that you want to play with. Now I downloaded a database and then I did my own adjustments so if you go into editor here you can select a database as you can see I've got lots of different ones um, you go into there and you can make adjustments yourself whether that be um, if I pop into one we'll go here making adjustments to players, team names, things like that, competitions all sorts of different things the game really does give you a healthy array of editing to do as you can see here lots of different things say if we click on here Gallagher Premiership uh, you can go to clubs let's pick Bristol and then you can go into here and edit the names the names of the stadium staff 
squad, so you can change everything. John O'Foa here, play, you can change absolutely everything. His age, height, different things. Um, we shall leave that there. That is it for the database, really, and how you add it into the game and how you edit it. But if we go back now to our downloads folder, the next thing we'll be doing is importing all of the correct badges, competitions, photos, and stuff like that. So to get to the place where you put it, you'll need to head to your PC. I always go through here, program files, head down to Steam, Steam apps, common, and then find Rugby Union Team Manager 3, and then we head to external. Now, as you can see here, there's lots of different folders. I'm not actually going to drag any in because I've made some adjustments myself, so I don't really want to affect things. But it's same as the um, database, really. You find what you want. So say we start with clubs. As you can see on the clubs, we'll look down a few just to, uh, if I remember what number the bears are. I think it might be 74. No, that's Bath. We don't want to see Bath on this channel. Goodness me. 75 so yeah basically each club folder has the correct badges the correct kits everything like that in there uh, so yeah right click copy or drag whatever you want to do over to external pop it in here and that will replace your default folder here and add all of the right clubs and things into the game same for competitions so just click on competitions and as you can see here we'll pop into one Gallagher Premiership there with the correct picture and trophy and everything like that Same with the French League there top 14 So everything's there again right click or drag To your external folder and then that will replace that folder there And you'll get all of your competitions up to date And the final one is the photos so if we click on the photos here you'll see lots and lots of different player photos to add into your game uh, exactly the same right click copy or drag into the external folder and then that will replace your photos file there now if you want to make any adjustments to anything yourself um, so for example if we head into photos I've added quite a few of my own Bristol Bears ones in there um, but basically you just need to remember the ID so if for example, um, who do we have? We had John Afoa up on the Rugby Union game here, didn't we? So when you're in the database, if you click on a player, for example, John Afoa, you'll see here on the right-hand side a photo ID. So he is 2821. So if you then pop back to the photos, so 2821. Uh, Where are we? 2828. Is it 2821? That's what it says there. 2821. Oh, I know. I'm not in my. Um, it's not my actual folder, is it? No. Apologies. If I head over to my actual. That was just the default downloaded one. If I head over to here, which is my actual one. Uh, so, where are we? 2821, wasn't it? 2821 which is right at the bottom so there's John Afoa there so 2821 and you just link it that way through the game same with any other player let's go Sam Bedlow there he is 2830 so if you wanted to add your own photos into the game basically it needs to be in PNG format and you have to make sure the dimensions are 150 by 150 uh, so I just found the Bears pictures online cropped them to the correct dimensions, made sure they were PNG files, imported them into my photo folder, and then went into the database, picked the player that I needed, and just made sure that the photo ID is the correct number that matches your photo. Uh, so yeah, it's as simple as that if you want to edit your own photos. Um, same with the clubs. Um, so, I go to the the only team I've edited myself are the Bears 
obviously that's the ones that I'm using in the career mode. So same again if you want to edit anything yourself, for example the badge, PNG file 333 by 333 and the small one there is 38 by 38, again PNG files. So just create your own ones, crop them and then just drag them into here. Make sure they are obviously called the exact same thing as these ones are here. Same with kits, same with icons, just make sure they're called the exact same thing. They're the correct file and dimensions and you can edit away and add your own things, whatever you want to do in your game. And of course, that then ends up with what we have here, which is my database with all the players, all the photos here for the bears, all correct, all up to date, um, all the correct competitions there. If we go back, Six Nations, World Cup. Um, I haven't gone too far into it and done lots and lots of other competitions just because I only really use the Premiership and the Championship. The Championship is there, for example. Um, where are we going back to the championship there we go all the badges everything you need so it's as simple as that basically I hope this video has helped a lot of you out and like I said before the discord channel for rugby union team manager 3 is where you want to head if you've got any questions or if you want to find the links to these photos databases things like that Hopefully this has helped you out and you can get involved in editing and modding your own teams and making the game as good as it possibly can be. I do really enjoy this game and have lots and lots of fun playing it. And if you haven't already, please check out my series where I am taking the Bristol Bears to glory. Or not so much perhaps, depending on how things go. So yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please do drop a like. I hope it has helped. Leave a comment down below. Like I said, if you've got any questions or you are stuck, please leave it in the comments and I'll try my best to help you out. If you haven't already, please move that subscribe button and I'll see you in the virtual scrum.